New federal lawsuit over anti-LGBT discrimination in foster care program in Nashville, Tennessee. On October 13th, Kelly Easter accused the U.S. federal government of financing organizations that discriminate against LGBT individuals from becoming foster parents. Mrs. E Ms. Easter was declined twice from becoming a foster parent for a migrant child by a foster care program that receives federal funding. Easter had previously applied at the only local organization participating in the na National Program for Migrant Children. Um, and the local organization was called Bethany Christian Services, or BCS. BCS first denied her application because she is a lesbian. Later, they changed their policy to allow LGBT parents, and Easter applied again. But this time, Easter was told that she would have to drive to a different town's BCS chapter to apply because her local chapter's office was under contract with the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, which refuses to certify LGBT people as foster parents. The Conference of Catholic Bishops receives federal funding to provide foster care services. Easter is suing the Administration for Children and Families, the Office of Refugee Resettlement, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, claiming violations of her First and Fifth Amendment rights. And can you tell me the... Um you know, the argument for why, I mean, don't these people say two parents, like, even if they're against LGBT, do they not see how this is a good thing for the child? Like, it's not like they all get to go home to a, to a family. Like, it's not like we have enough, you know, hetero couples out there that could take everybody. Like, isn't the alt isn't even if they think this is not as good, isn't it a better situation for most of these kids to be able to get a par set of parents? Um, theoretically, I could see someone like maybe agreeing with that on a practical or pragmatic level, but they're, um, at least from the Catholic perspective, like they cannot do something that is against their religious tenets. So I'm going to assume but, that they are going to argue that the state is trying to force them to violate their deeply held beliefs. Um, so it's not that they can say like, okay, maybe to try a child with two ma men as parents, like that is not great, but it's preferable to no parents. Like maybe someone would say that regardless of whether they think that it's about their actual practice and expression of their faith and they're saying we can't do this as an expression of our faith okay but my point is that how could this i don't understand why this argument the argument that this goes against our religious tenants the religious your religious tenant says that this lady cannot be scissoring this other lady okay it doesn't <laughs> say whoa it doesn't say that what now that they're together, they can't take care of a child. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't say that. Where does it show me? Share with me where it says that. Well, they believe that family should strictly be constructed under a mm -hmm. married couple. And who is allowed to get married in the Catholic Church? Only a man and a woman are allowed to consecrate a marriage and consummate a marriage. They're, like, hmm. it's, it's against their very conception of family. And so there isn't a specific port, part in the catechism, to my knowledge, that says LGBT parents can't adopt as children. But the entire body of the catechism informs this opinion that to same-sex parents is it's not even like antithetical to the idea of family it's like outside of the conception or definition of family and therefore they would not bring children but, into that situation mm, 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 mm. but nothing that we have today matches the definition of a family as it was you know as as it was in the bible 
Uh -oh. I mean, I don't, I don't have any sex slaves. Do you have any? Well, I mean, you're a woman. Um, <laughs> I think I, wait, never, never mind. I do, I do have sex. Slaves. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, um, okay, it's not condoned to have sex slaves. In my, yeah, I mean, if you read the Bible and you just like look at the concubines and having men multiple having multiple wives. wives and all of that nothing that the catholic church is endorsing as a family today matches the family structure of the bible anyways so you shouldn't be i don't know you raised a good point uh mm. sir yes you are correct yeah that that is definitely inconsistent yeah anyways it's not like it's not like you could argue with religious people None of this. yeah so yeah basically the government is getting sued because uh, the Catholic Church is on some BS. Um, it's unfortunate, and I think that you probably, well, I don't know. I I don't know um, how the defendants are going to argue their case because the defendants are all these government departments. And so, I don't know, maybe I, it'll be interesting to see what their defense is and to what extent they're actually going to defend um their relationship to the catholic church um and the extent to which they pay them that could i could see that having major consequences depending on what kind of precedent that sets and the reasoning that they use as to why that's completely valid um because then they would there's a potential for them to defend the fact that there is a policy like this in the books um Although we'll see how this case turns out. The, the lawsuit was just filed recently. So again, I, I can't believe that this is going to require a lawsuit. Like the fact that these are still already not settled. I mean, we're yeah, it's 2021, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's so, it's so ridiculous. I hate that we, um, give so much money to religious organizations to provide, um, civil services yeah. it leads to horrible situations like this um oh look at this oh ega is saying thanks armin and susanna for being such great hosts with great commentary well thank oh. you ega for being a great mod thank you aj hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.